With the breaking of the first four seals from the Sacred Seven, four riders emerge. Conquest, war, famine, and death. These ominous horsemen bear the responsibility of ushering in the apocalypse, a theme prevalent in both biblical tales and contemporary reflections. The four horsemen have permeated cultural consciousness, making appearances in various forms across literature, art, and popular culture. As we delve into discussions about the apocalypse, a natural focal point arises, the four horsemen. Who are these mysterious entities, and what narrative unfolds as they become protagonists in the unfolding drama of the end times? Our odyssey through the mystical tapestry of the Four Horsemen unfolds within the sacred verses of the Book of Revelation, a divine revelation given to the Apostle John. In Revelation 1, 1, we are reminded that this revelation is the unveiling of Jesus Christ, given to John to show God's servants what must soon take place. The secluded Isle of Patmos, where John, a devoted servant of God, found himself in isolation. It is here, in the solitude mandated by exile, that John's spirit became attuned to the divine frequency. Revelation 1.10 recounts that on the Lord's Day, John, in the spirit, heard a voice commanding him to write what he saw in a book. A faithful servant, John responded to the divine call with unwavering obedience. As we journey through the book of Revelation, let your mind's eye peer into the heavenly realm. Revelation 4, 2, 6 reveals a scene of profound magnificence. A throne set in heaven with an emerald-like appearance, encircled by 24 elders and four living creatures. These elders, clothed in white and crowned, symbolize wisdom and authority. Revelation 4, 4. The four living creatures, each with distinct features, represent facets of creation and divine attributes. Revelation 4, 6, 8. Our expedition through Revelation ventures into the heart of mystery the unveiling of a scroll sealed with seven seals, Revelation 5, 1 KJV. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside, sealed with seven seals. This scroll, a cosmic manuscript, holds the destiny of humanity, shrouded in symbols and guarded by divine decree. Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? Revelation 5, 2. The weight of this question echoes through the heavenly expanse, emphasizing the gravity of the task at hand. The search for a worthy bearer intensifies, revealing the solemnity of the unfolding cosmic drama. In the midst of this celestial inquiry, hope emerges as the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, is revealed. A lamb standing, as if slain, Revelation 5, 5, 6. This lamb, symbolic of Christ, embodies sacrificial love and redemption. The Lamb alone is found worthy to take the scroll, showcasing the intersection of divine power and redemptive grace. Revelation 5, 7. Witness the celestial crescendo as the Lamb takes the scroll. In awe, the four living creatures and the 24 elders bow before the Lamb, each holding harps and golden bowls of incense, symbolizing prayers of the saints. Revelation 5, 8, 10. Their worship resounds with adoration and acknowledgement of the Lamb's worthiness to execute God's divine plan. In Revelation's sacred imagery, we glimpse the pivotal moment when the Lamb steps forward as the cosmic redeemer, unfolding the destiny of humanity in the scrolls of divine providence. Come! A white horse appeared, and its rider, wielding a bow and crowned, embarked on a conquest. This white-clad horseman's narrative is a canvas painted with diverse interpretations. Initially seen as a messenger spreading the word of God, his attire, white symbolizing purity and righteousness, aligns with traditional biblical associations. However, dissent arose in the 19th century, veering towards a darker interpretation, an anti-Christ figure rather than a harbinger of positivity. The white horseman's symbolism extends beyond conquest to encompass war, the two intertwined facets of his essence. Some opt for a shift in interpretation, replacing conquest with pestilence, emphasizing the rider's role as a harbinger of infectious diseases. Roman perspectives unveils nuanced views where the four horsemen prophesied the future of the empire. For the Romans, the white horse symbolized triumph, political success and prosperity, casting the first horseman in a predominantly positive light albeit not explicitly tied to religious themes. Let us open the sacred pages of Revelation to chapter 6, verse 4. As the seals break, a second horse appears, 
a fiery red one. Its rider was given the power to take peace from the earth and make men slay each other. A great sword was given to him. This vivid imagery beckons us to explore the profound significance of the rider in red. Behold the red horse and its rider, a symbolic portrayal of war's relentless march across human history. The fiery hue embodies the passion and destruction inherent in armed conflict. With a great sword in hand, this horseman becomes a harbinger of strife, symbolizing the violence and chaos that often accompany War Matthew 24, 6, 7. As we discern the nuances, it is crucial to differentiate the rider in red from the preceding white-clad conqueror. While the white horseman represents the spread of divine truth, the red horseman signifies the grim reality of human conflict. In this duality, Revelation speaks to the multifaceted nature of tribulation, encompassing both spiritual battles and the harsh realities of worldly warfare. In this exploration of the rider in red, let us delve into the depths of Revelation's symbolism, recognizing the profound commentary on the human experience, where conquest and war, both spiritual and earthly, shape the narrative of our existence. Let us turn our attention to Revelation 6, 5, where the breaking of the third seal reveals a black horse and its rider holds a pair of scales. A voice declares, a quart of wheat for a denarius and three quarts of barley for a denarius and do not harm the oil and the wine. The introduction of the rider in black brings forth a depiction of famine and its profound implications. The symbolism of the scales in the rider's hands is emblematic of scarcity and economic hardship. This rider heralds a time when basic sustenance becomes a precious commodity, and the scales measure out meager portions, underscoring the severity of famine Leviticus 26, 26. Consider the historical context where Roman taxation policies often contributed to economic strain. The denarius, a day's wage, barely affords basic provisions. The rider in black reflects not only spiritual famine, but the tangible impact of societal structures on the daily lives of the people. This famine extends beyond mere hunger. It signifies a hunger for spiritual nourishment as well. The scarcity of wheat and barley may evoke a dual interpretation, literal hunger and a spiritual famine, emphasizing the interconnectedness of physical and spiritual well-being, Amos 8.11. In unveiling the rider in black, Revelation intricately weaves together the threads of societal, economic, and spiritual famine. As we delve into this chapter, let us contemplate the broader implications of scarcity, both material and spiritual, resonating through the pages of prophecy. Turning our gaze to Revelation 6, 8, the breaking of the fourth seal unveils a pale horse, and its rider, death, follows closely. The introduction of the pale rider marks a solemn moment in our exploration of the four horsemen. Behold the pale horse, its rider draped in the shadowy cloak of death. This haunting imagery symbolizes the ultimate and inevitable end of mortal life. Revelation 6, 8. The pale hue signifies the life-draining power that death holds, casting a somber pallor over the canvas of human existence. In delving deeper, we find echoes of Greek mythology in the personification of death. The rider of the pale horse bears semblance to Thanatos, the Greek god of death, and Hades, the realm of the departed souls. This interweaving of cultural narratives enriches the symbolism of death as a universal and transcendent force. Revelation 6, 8. Revelation conveys a profound message as authority is given to death and Hades over a fourth of the earth. This symbolizes the widespread nature of mortality, death's dominion reaching across vast realms. The very authority bestowed upon death and Hades underscores the inexorable cycle of life and death, invoking contemplation on the universal truth that all must face Revelation 6, 8. In the presence of the pale rider, let us reflect on the inevitability of mortality, seeking solace in the hope that transcends the temporal realm. As we unravel the symbolism of the four horsemen, diverse interpretations emerge. Some view them as representing literal events, while others see them as allegorical, embodying spiritual and historical realities. This diversity in interpretation adds layers of depth to the prophetic narrative, reminding us of the multifaceted nature of divine revelation, Revelation 6, 1, 8. The four horsemen ride in tandem with the great tribulation prophecy foretold by Jesus in Matthew 24, 21, 22. 
This aligns with the notion that these horsemen are harbingers of a tumultuous period preceding the culmination of God's divine plan. Our exploration extends to the book of Zechariah, where a parallel account unveils horses of different colors sent as scouts throughout the earth, Zechariah 1, 7, 17. The synergy between Zechariah and Revelation invites us to discern broader spiritual truths woven into the fabric of prophetic visions. In Zechariah's account, the horses bring back reports of tranquility, indicating divine favor and the rebuilding of Jerusalem, Zechariah 1.11, L. This contrasts sharply with the apocalyptic aura surrounding the four horsemen in Revelation. The divergent roles underscore the dynamic nature of symbolism, urging us to seek spiritual discernment in interpreting these profound visions. As we navigate the varied interpretations and references, let us approach these prophetic passages with humility and open hearts, recognizing the depth and mystery that shroud divine revelations. As we navigate the corridors of history, intriguing parallels emerge between the symbolism of the four horsemen and pivotal historical events. Consider the Crusades, where conquest, war and famine cast their ominous shadows over vast regions. The echoes of the Great Famine, a time of scarcity and death, resonate with the imagery of the rider in black. These historical reflections invite us to ponder the enduring relevance of biblical prophecy in the unfolding tapestry of human experience, Revelation 6, 1, 8. An age-old question surfaces, have the four horsemen already galloped through the annals of time? Some argue that historical events align with the prophetic imagery, prompting contemplation on the cyclical nature of tribulations and divine intervention. This discussion beckons us to examine the spiritual climate of our era and discern the resonance of apocalyptic symbolism in our midst as we navigate a world marked by natural disasters, pandemics and social upheavals, the cautionary tale embedded in the Four Horsemen resonates with an urgency to reflect on our collective actions. While avoiding dogmatic predictions, these symbols serve as reminders of potential consequences wrought by human choices and global events. In times of crisis, they become cautionary guides, prompting introspection and a collective call to spiritual renewal. In exploring the significance and impact of the Four Horsemen, let us tread with reverence, acknowledging the nuanced interplay of biblical prophecy and the complex realities of our shared human journey. As our voyage through the prophetic realms draws to a close, we stand at the crossroads of interpretation and symbolism. The Four Horsemen, riders of conquest, war, famine and death, weave a tapestry of divine revelation. From historical events to spiritual reflections, these symbols transcend time, inviting us to discern their profound significance in the intricate dance of human existence. As seekers of truth and believers in the eternal, I encourage you to share your insights and favorite references related to the Four Horsemen. Let the conversation extend beyond this digital pulpit, creating a community where diverse perspectives enrich our understanding of these profound symbols. Your thoughts contribute to the collective wisdom we seek on this spiritual journey. In concluding our exploration, I invite you to subscribe, like, and share this video. By doing so, you become part of a community seeking deeper spiritual insights. As we navigate the currents of prophecy and symbolism, let our collective journey be marked by curiosity, humility, and a shared quest for divine truths. May the profound revelations embedded in the Four Horsemen inspire contemplation, foster unity and guide us on the path of spiritual growth. Thank you for joining us on this odyssey through the sacred pages of Revelation. Until our next exploration, may the grace of divine wisdom accompany you on your individual pilgrimages of faith.